Welcome. This is the video for World English 3 Third Edition Digital Book. Now, how can you get this digital book? Well, if you buy the book, as you can see, the cover is right here. You will also be able to access the site, which has many, many great things, including the digital book. All you have to do is order the book online or go to your favorite bookstore. And once you have the book, you will see the URL to the site and there will be a code in your book. And you will be able to start your account. And once you have, you will have access, like I said, to many great things, including the digital book. Now, for this bar right here, which is useful, but for the video, I will not be using it, or my plan is not to use it. However, if I do decide to use it, I will make it available and show you how it's used. But for the moment, I'm going to minimize it. There you go. It, it's gone. All right. So. Let's begin with Unit 1 of World English 3, 3rd Edition. Welcome to Unit 1 of the World English 3, 3rd Edition Digital Book. Uh, in this video, I'm just going to show you a couple of things you can do with the digital book and we we will be covering vocabulary and grammar and i will be showing you the grammar section in the back of the book as well again we will be covering vocabulary and grammar for unit one all right, so as I said, I'm going to show you a couple of things you can do with the digital book. Now, if you already have the book, you can go to the website and you can actually download the digital book and you can have it for yourself and you can play around with it. If you don't have the book yet, I suggest that you get it so that you can have access to the digital book and many, many other things that the site offers. All right, so here are some of the things you can do. Let's start with when you open up the digital book, you will see all the units. I showed, showed that to you in the introduction video. So if you haven't seen it, go ahead and watch it. Uh, but yeah, it will always have two pages. If you don't want to do two pages like me, for this vi video, I feel that one page at a time is better. You can actually change it to single page here. And I will be minimizing this. All right, so this is how the beginning of the unit looks in just a single page. It will tell you the goals of the unit each unit is the same. And speaking of each unit being the same, each unit will start with a vocabulary reading and the vocabulary will be in blue. And then it will have an exercise to make sure that you understand what the vocabulary means. So, what I'm going to do is when we have this section of the book, I will zoom in a little bit like this. And because if you don't have the book, I will give you time to read and look at the vocabulary. So take as much time as you need to read this by pausing the video now.
Okay, welcome back. Let me reset. All right, so now we will be doing the exercise to make sure that you understand what the vocabulary means by opening the activity. And I will read what the vocabulary is, and then uh, you'll be able to pause the video. All right, we have culture, trash, migration, resident, society, factor, neighborhood, community, population, quality of life. So go ahead and take as much time as you need. Pause the video now. All right, welcome back. And I think for the first two or three, I will show you what you can do. And then after that, I will just show you what the answers are. All right, so first trick you need to know here is when you see uh, something like this, you will need to know a little bit about writing, which is, the first word of any new sentence is always capitalized, like trash. And if a word comes in the middle of a sentence, it is not capitalized, like culture. All right, so a group of people who live in one part of a city or a country, we know it's not capitalized and we know it's community. Yes, you can drag it just like this. And then you can check to see if you're right. Okay, so I will do the same thing for numbers two and three. And then for the rest, like I said, I will just click on what the answer is. All right, when many people move from one place to another, they migrate. That's the verb, but in this case, it's not a verb. It's a noun, migration is when people move from one place to another. And for the, here we go. All of the people who live in one area, city or country, that is everybody. That's the population. All right, you know what? I'm gonna continue, I'm having fun. All right, so how good or bad life is in one place? Well, good or bad would be the quality of life. Quality of life. Uh, this is what people throw away. So this is trash. Uh, a general way, excuse me, a general way to refer to people in a country or in the world. This is how you talk about them, or it's a word that's used, and that would be society. Okay, this is a group of people who think and act in a similar way. This is a culture. A reason for something or a cause for something that would be factor. One area within a city, this is the area where you live. Right? This is your neighborhood. And a resident is someone who lives in a place such as a city or country. You are the re resident of whatever city, town, village, country, wherever you live, you are a resident. You live there. All right, uh, whenever I do something like this, I will give you time to pause and look at it, make notes, whatever you need to do, pause the video now. Okay, let's move on. All right, I just wanna make sure that you understand that 
anything where you need to talk to somebody in your group or a partner, we won't be able to do in the video. All right, so for the vocabulary grammar section of the unit, we are now in the grammar section. And the grammar for unit one is the present perfect and present perfect continuous. Just, just so you know, continuous just means that it has ing at the end of the verb. All right, so the present perfect has, have, plus the past participle and the present perfect continuous has, have, plus been, plus present participle, both refer to past situations connected to the present. All that means is that it's something that started in the past and is still happening now. All right, here are a couple of examples. For the present perfect, I have lived here for a long time. Uh, lived would be the past participle. Now I just want to make sure you understand that lived is a regular verb uh, ending in ed in the past. So, the past participle of any regular verb uh, usually stays the same. However, the past participle of irregular verbs do change. And the book has a list of uh, irregular verbs used in the book. And you will see the verb form, the past tense, and the past participle of the verb. Now, if you want to see that list, um, just go to the very back of the book and you will find it. If you don't have the book, uh, I suggest one, buy the, the book, or look it up. Just look up uh, irregular verbs you know, or English irregular verbs, and you will find many sites that will give you a list. Uh, all right, let's move on to the present perfect continuous, which is uh, has, have, been, plus the present participle. And that would be, I have been living here for a long time. Uh, living would be the present participle in the continuous form the ing form. All right, so uh, in most cases, use the present perfect rather than or instead of the present perfect continuous to emphasize, to show that an event is finished. He has told us already. And you would use the, uh, you would also use it to describe things that happen at an unspecified and unknown time in the past. She has just started a new job. We don't know when she started, but she has just started a new job. So we know that it's recently. We just don't know when, unspecified. All right. In most cases, use the present perfect continuous rather than the present perfect to emphasize how long something continued. They've been waiting for hours to describe past actions that are still continuing. It has been raining since yesterday. And some time expressions are common with both forms. For is used uh, to say how long something has continued. We've worked together four years. Since indicates or shows when something started. We've been working together since 2015. A little trick I tell my students is, if you're not sure, for how long, since when? Just ask yourself. 
All right. So we're going to do a couple of exercises here. We will then go to the grammar section of the book, do one exercise there, and then that should wrap it up. All right. So here we have underlying examples of the present perfect and present perfect continuous from this email. Now, don't worry. When, uh, you don't need pen, paper. Well, actually, if you might uh, until you get the digital book. All right, let's open the activity. All right, so here is the email or the two emails. Go ahead and look for the present perfect and present perfect continuous. Uh, take as long as you need. Pause the video now. All right, welcome back. So let's start to see, how are you? I hope your family's out. Oh, here we go. My wife and I have been talking about moving. Uh, we will be checking all the answers in just a second. There are several factors, but the main reason you've lived here for many years. Do you think it's a good place to live? I'm excited that you have been thinking about moving here. I think they're great. About half comes from different places. So it's an exciting multicultural place. It's not perfect though. All right. I guess society has changed a lot since we were kids. Anyways, before you make a decision, read books on migration problems. I've read several and they have some good advice. It's not Dave, it's they have some good advice. Right, so let's check. Let's check. There you go. That's what you should have too. All right, like I said, uh, whatever you need to do, pause the video now. All right, I hope you've taken your notes or whatever it was you needed to do. Let's move on to the next exercise. For here, I'm just going to show you what the answers are. We're not, we're not going to uh, be writing. You can write, and I'll show you for number one. All right, so for here, is it present perfect? Present perfect continuous, or can you use either one? All right, take as long as you need. Pause the video now. Okay, welcome back. So, for number one, you can use either one. You can use present perfect or present perfect continuous. I'm going to just use the present perfect. Emily has lived in the same city since 2015. All right, there you go. So for number two, uh, because you already have the ING form here, you can only use the present perfect. So Mark has finished reading the book already. Tiago has stopped using social media so much. Now, it has been snowing nonstop for the last seven hours. Uh, 
you could use it has snowed nonstop for the last seven hours, but you really want to emphasize, you want to make it clear or show that, you know, hey man, for the last seven hours, it's been snowing nonstop, right? So it has been snowing nonstop for the last seven hours and Jinwa and Hedim have been friends for years. You can't say have been been friends or no. So these are the answers for activity E. Uh, you need to take notes or this was too quick for you or maybe you were wrong, whatever it is, pause the video for as long as you need now. Okay. Let's close this. All right, for the last part, uh, we are going to go to the back of the book. If you do have the book, this will be page 170. So as you are going to the back of the book, let me explain how this works. Uh, every unit, uh, whatever grammar section, they have, they will always have something in the back of the book to explain more, to make sure that you completely understand uh, the rules of the grammar. Uh, and they'll have a couple of exercises. Now, we will be doing exercise A. However, for exercise B, uh, you can look at the questions. Everybody will have a different answer. So we will not be able to do that. So yeah, if you have the book or you don't have the book uh, and you need to look at this, go ahead, uh, pause the video for as long as you need now. Okay, welcome back. I hope that uh, you have a better understanding of the present perfect tenses. So let's do the activity in the grammar section in the back of the book. All right, so here, of course, you're going to be filling in the blanks with the choices from the top during the summer, recently for three days, never in the last year since nine o'clock. Of course, remember, if it's the beginning of a sentence, it's capitalized. If it's in the middle of a sentence, it's not capitalized. All right, so take a look at the sentences and your choices. Uh, take as long as you need, pause the video now. Okay, welcome back. We will be going over the answers. Again, I think numbers one and two, I'll drag them and then the rest I will show you. Okay. So we've been staying at this hotel for how long? Oh, for three days. Let's check. And they've been waiting this morning. Uh, really, this morning? Uh, since when? Since nine o'clock. All right, I'm going to keep going. I'm just going to drag them. Uh, so for number three, Jude has moved to a new house four times uh, in the last year. Now I just want to go. Uh, just want to say, for for example, uh, you you could change this to for three days. We've been staying at this hotel, but it's correct. But you would people usually would not say that. But for something like this, Jude has moved to a new house four times in the last year. That's also co correct. 
It's not strange in any way. So the order in which you want to say it is up to you. Uh, same with number four. Issy has made several new friends. And then whatever the answer is here, or you can start with the answer recently. And you can say, recently, Izzy has made several new friends. And surprisingly, he has never learned to swim. Uh, yeah, that would have to stay the same. However, for number six, uh, whichever one you want to start with is your choice. You can say, I've gone swimming almost every day during the summer or during the summer, I've gone swimming almost every day. Anyways, uh, that is, those are the answers to activity A on page 170 for the present perfect tenses. Oh yeah, I was about to close this, but yeah, uh, you can pause the video for whatever you need to do now all right i'm going to go back to page five and i'm going to finish here since this is another part where we can't really do on the video you can go ahead and look at the questions and think about the answers for yourself. Uh, and with that said, I will be ending the video now. I hope you enjoyed uh, the vocabulary and grammar section of unit one for the World English 3 uh, third edition digital book. All right. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.